This is Mr. Huff. Let's take a look at this foundation. So at this point, you should have your steel foundations completed. Uh, and next, we need to do the concrete work that's going to go below the ground. So here we have a pier that the each column will sit upon. And then that pier terminates into a spread footing. And what this does is, as the force comes down on this, it's transferred through this concrete pillar into this rectangle or square section so that it can distribute that force on a large surface area in the ground, okay? So let's go through how to do this. All right, uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open the east and the north view. And I'm going to click one of the grid lines here and we're going to go to the bottom of this and pull it down. And you need to go down probably more 10 feet or so, that's fine. And we're gonna do that with the east view as well. And this is just gonna make it easier for us to attach our levels. So I just pulled that down a random amount. And now we're gonna to go to architecture level. And we're gonna add two new levels below the ground floor. So I'm just gonna randomly place there so we'll get the measurements in just a moment. Make sure that these click with the, or attach to the ones above them, like that. All right, so if once we finish that, you can see that that also appears in the north view. So we need to rename these. Uh, notice I'm using lowercase words, so I'm gonna continue that. Hit escape a couple of times. To double click level the level name and I'm going to change that to, that to footing top. Yes, I want to rename that in all the views. This one I want to change to footing bottom. Mm, I'm not sure how much we need that, but it's good to understand it. All right, so now we're going to double click this distance here. Notice we're below zero, so the numbers are negative. So we're gonna do a negative five. And this one will be negative seven. And since these overlap a little bit, I'm gonna go in and click this wiggly and get the footing top and footing bottom separated. Okay, and check the north view, uh, do the same thing here. Just get those separated so that we're not confused. All right, now that we've got that in place, we need the, to add our structural columns here and our square footing or rectangular footing here, okay? So let's go to the, notice I have my ceiling plan closed so I don't get confused. I need to go to the ground floor or footing top, probably ground floor, because I want to be able to see this grid. Is that grid available on the floor footing top? Yes, it is. Okay. So uh, we're going to put this on the ground floor. I'll just do everything from that and we'll adjust it from there. So now we're going to go to structure and we're going to click on column and we need to load a family. And we're going to find in our folders structural columns and we're going to use concrete, and we're going to use square. So we're choosing square, concrete, columns. All right, click open, and it will give us an assortment. The one that we wanna use is the one that's 24 inches by 24 inches. We're going to use the grid tool. I'm going to select the entire grid, hit finish. It gives you a little warning saying it, you can't see it in this view. That's okay. Uh, then we're going to go look at our 3D view. And you can see that we have these little columns right here at the bottom of the, uh, at the, bottom of the steel columns. So that's exactly how we want it to look. If it was wrong, uh, right now it's footing top to ground floor. That's perfect. Uh, if it's wrong, we would select all of those and make adjustments here. All right. Going to hit escape a couple of times, go back to ground floor. Um, we could probably do this on the footing top. Let's try this. Okay. So now we're going to, instead of columns, we're going to use the one isolated. And it's asking if we want to in import structural foundations. And the answer is yes. So we have to go back from English Imperial. 
we're going to scroll down until we see structural foundations and we want to choose the one that says footing rectangular okay click on open and that's going to give us some rectangular footings if you look at this this is a four by eight and the other one is 96 by 72 so it's like an eight by five that's not really what we want we want a seven foot by seven foot by two foot thick, thick rectangular or footing here so what we're going to do is hit edit type and then i'm going to duplicate that because i'm making my new one i'm going to make it give it a new name spread footing and this is going to be seven by seven by two all right so i duplicated and gave it a new name and make sure it's got the new name then we can change these to two the thickness is two the width is seven and the width is seven uh, and then get off of that now click apply and we have a new foundation click ok and we have this one the one we just made notice how I like when I'm naming new things in the database I like to make them uppercase so they stand out so I know which one is mine all right so now we're going to use this grid and we're going to select everything so we've got the uh, isolated footings in there and I've selected all of those and I hit finish and it's giving me a warning that that's that you can't see it but if we go to our 3d view you can see hit escape a couple of times that we have this if they are in the wrong place you would select one and then select all in view and then go make your corrections over here so the level is footing top and then it's, it has no offset so you can make corrections on that so i'm going to hit escape now on my design i have some that are not being used so we're going to delete those so i'm going to highlight these because i have a vestibule that i've planned for and i'm going to delete these because i have a, a shop extension that i've planned for so my grid isn't perfect but that's what i want it to look like when we go to our 3D view, to the home view, now you see that each column has a concrete support and a spread footing at the bottom. All right, save your work, and that's all for now.